Happy learning, kids! Welcome to the world of science, where everything is fun and exciting. I am Teacher Mao, your teacher for our today's lesson. Quarter 1, Module 2, Lesson 2 Changes in Matter in the Presence or Absence of Oxygen In this module, we will be able to investigate the changes that happen in the materials under the following conditions presence of oxygen and lack of oxygen. Let's start now! From our previous lesson, we have learned that matter has two properties, physical and chemical properties. Both of these properties have effects on matter. However, on this lesson, we will focus on one chemical property of matter. The presence or absence of oxygen has various effects on matter. Among these common ones that you readily see are combustion and rusting. Let's get going! Let's explore our lesson as we watch the videos closely. The materials used in this video are candle and a match. First, we light the candle. Then, cover the lighted candle with a glass jar. Hmm, what do you think will happen to the lighted candle? Can you make your own wild guess? This one could take a moment, but it's worth the wait. Haha! -ha. What happened? Why is this so? Do you have any thoughts in mind? The candle was lit using a match. Its wick burns because oxygen and wax are present and a lot of heat is produced. But the flame was put out when the jar covered the candle. Why is this so? The candle needs oxygen from the air to continue burning. If there is absence of oxygen, the candle will not continue to burn. Let's take a look at this diagram. This diagram is called the fire triangle. It shows that three things are needed for fire to occur. In order for fire to occur, there should be heat, fuel, and oxygen. A fire occurs when the three elements are present in the right amount. The fire will continue its flame provided that there is continuous supply of the three elements. That is why the candle was lit upon the presence of oxygen, fuel, and heat. On the other hand, the flame was put out as the jar covered the candle. If is because of the absence of oxygen. A change in materials when oxygen is present is in combustion. It occurs when oxygen combines with another substance and produces fire with heat and light. Combustion is also known as burning. Remember, in combustion, oxygen, fuel, and heat are always present. Moving on, you may have observed that some iron nails in your home have rust. Do you have any idea what causes the formation of rust? Rusting is caused by the reaction of iron with oxygen present in the air. This kind of reaction is slower than the rate of combustion. Remember, the amount of rust formed in an iron depends on the moisture and humidity of the surroundings. 
If oxygen is present in a wet material with iron, such as nail or steel bar, the formation of rust occurs. Remember, when iron, oxygen, and water react with one another, rust occurs. But there are ways to prevent rusting. Apply paint on the material and always wipe the material with a clean dry cloth after use. Let's have another example affected by the presence of oxygen. It is the exposure of fruits and vegetables. We will be using an apple for this example. Slice the apple into two. Take a look at the fleshy part of the apple. Leave it like this for a few minutes. Now, take a closer look at their colors after a few minutes. Why did they turn brown after slicing? The change in the color of the inner fleshy part of the apple is due to its exposure to oxygen. The oxygen present in the air reacts with the chemical present in the fleshy part of the apple. Let's try this! Let's sum it up to see how far did you understand the lesson. What are the three things needed for combustion to occur? Correct! For combustion to occur, it needs oxygen, fuel, and heat. What are the two factors that influence the formation of rust on the iron? You said it correctly! The two factors are the moisture and humidity of the surroundings. How does rust form on untreated iron nails? Great job! The iron nails react with the oxygen in the surroundings. And that's it for today, hoping that everything is clear now. And hope to see you more on our next lessons. Do not forget to share your learnings today. And remember, science is fun! Happy learning, kids!